trick question first. Tell us your name. Spell it so we sure to get. Denny Chapman. D E N N Y C H A P M A N. Um. The difference between somebody who's really good at this sport and somebody who is not is is what? In other words, what what, what sort of separates the, the top level from the wannabes? You can kind of tell those who have uh, been successful in this sport and, and those who are not, and it really goes back to foundation training. 75% of the sport is horsemanship. We're shooting off a moving platform, traveling uh, 25, 30 miles an hour, the wind in your face, and it's just exhilarating. But you have to have the horse that's properly trained, properly prepared. The shooting part is about 25% of this sport. So the people out there who are successful have a good broke horse that's seasoned, desensitized, a horse that likes this job. There are about three categories of shooting horses. I'm a shooting horse trainer down in Florida. A category one horse is a horse that just takes to it really quick. They like their job. They, they go out there and run, they want to do it. Most of these horses are category two horses, kind of like us. We might have a day job. We got to do it. We got to make a living. You know, we put up with it. It might not be our favorite thing in the world to do. And most of these horses are like that. They, they have a big heart. They give us all they have. Every once in a while you get a category three horse. He just doesn't need to be doing this. Just as some of us don't need to have certain jobs. Um, a guy with shaky hands might not make a good surgeon, for instance. So a good horse, proper training, and as a shooter, someone who knows the foundations, someone who's trained the elements. As your watch and your viewers are seeing this mounted shooting match, you see us doing elements, running through gates, turning around barrels, shooting in the turns. A good shooter is a shooter that practices these elements and, and is ingrained in them over and over and over, and also someone who's properly prepared mentally, because it really is a big mental game. There's so much we have to do. We have to be a multitasker. We have to ride. We have to shoot. We have to change guns. And we have to watch where we're going. I mean, it's it's just it's fantastic. Tell, tell me this. If uh, I might be a crack shot standing still on two flat feet, does that matter? Oh, Once I get on a horse. Oh, what, what? I can tell you from personal experience from being on the History's Top Shot Season 1, mounted shooting is much different from what we would call cowboy action shooting or ground shooting. And as a matter of fact, for the first time, I'm going to do the all-around match so I'm shooting mounted and cowboy action shooting. So I'm going to see if I can uh, maybe get an all-around title here at uh, SAS Winter Range. But it is very different because you're on this moving platform. So when people ask what, it, what is the major difference, it is that moving platform. And we're taking snapshots. We're literally riding and going bang, 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 bang. These guys, the cowboy action shooters, are finely tuned, finely honed marksmen who uh, are very quick, but they take a sight picture. A lot of them shoot two hands, duelists shoot one hand. It's a totally, totally different game. And I'm very excited to experience both games this weekend. And I'm riding a borrowed horse here in the mounted match, so this is the first day I've ridden this guy. Clean and fast on the first run and looking forward to the rest of the day. Good, good, good. All right, hold still just for a second. We want to get some pictures just of you. I'm getting a little mouthy. Yeah, oh. get, get you a pretend, pretend we're down here. And if you would just uh, saddle up and... Uh, yeah, kind of like you're once again, if you get it from this side, I, I'm not looking a barred horse in the mouth, but, <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm going to push him back over. I'm going to paint, paint next. I know the light might not be good for you from this side. Oh, uh, don't worry, it's okay. Don't worry. 